Oh, hello. Welcome into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations of Clay. My name is Louis Palladini and tonight I like to do an animal that everyone will recognize. I want to do a lobster and I will show you how to do that from start to finish. It's a very simple version of one and I'll show you the types of clay that we can use. There's an oil-based clay such as this, the one I used to use all the time as a kid. You can use it over and over again. It never hardens. It's great. When you get bored with something, then you make something else and make an entirely new sculpture. There's also an air hardening clay, which can be bought in any other store, which hardens like in a couple of hours or overnight. What's great about this is once it hardens, you can paint it. My preference for the clay is a clay called Super Sculpey, which can be baked in the oven about 15 or 20 minutes at 275 degrees. You can drill it, sand it, you can make a tremendous amount of detail. It's an awesome type of clay. I'll show you the size balls of clay that we'll be using today. For the body of the lobster, we're going to be using this size ball. And then for the two claws, we'll be using this size. And then I'll make eight smaller legs. And you can see they're about this size. And we, the eyes and the antennas, I'll actually have some extra clay over here on the side that I'll be pulling from here in order to make those. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to make, I'll show you, we are going to make the body of the lobster. So you have like the tail and the head, this area right here. And I will show you how we will do that. I'm going to take this, work the clay a little bit, squeeze it in our hands, and now just kind of work it. I'm going to make this section into the tail. So I'm just trying to squeeze that, make it a little longer. And then what I want to do is I want to make this into the head. I'll show you what we'll do for that. The, on a lobster, there's kind of like in the front of the, the head, there's almost like a, a point. So I'm trying to see how I'm working that. See how I'm kind of making that? I'm making, just working that a little bit. And just working that a little more. And I'll show you the basic shape that we want. See how this is I'm starting to form the tail here? And then this is the head portion here. And then, as you can see in the front, see how I'm kind of developing that? It's kind of like coming to a point on the side like that. Just like that. Work that. And now what I want to do is in order to make the tail, I'm trying to flatten this out a little bit. See how I'm taking my fingers and, and just kind of flattening that out a little bit, my thumb. I want to kind of pull the tail out a little bit I'll show you. We're going to be making some little points on the end right here. I'll show you. They almost look like little ears. What I'm going to do is kind of pull those out. Like that. Just like that. Now, what I want to do is kind of smooth this out a little bit with my thumb. Is I'm going to take, I have a tool right here. You know, you can probably use a toothpick, but uh, I will, the metal tool is a little easier for me today. So I'm going to take this, see, and make a line. See how I'm making that line? Just like that with the tool. You can do the, uh, use a toothpick and do the same thing. And we're going to make about five of those. So we're going to see how we did that. See how I'm doing that? 
just like that. Just go like that. We'll go all the way around. And then, see how I'm doing that? Yeah, make some nice little lines. See how we did that? Pretty cool. Now, what we want to do is we want to work on making the legs. So what I want to do is make some holes for the legs. So I'm going to take my instrument here and just kind of go like that. See how we're doing that? Just like that. See how I made that? I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I want to make sure I put them in the exact same location. So approximately right there. See? So we made the legs. Now what I'd like to do, or the holes for the legs, I want to work on making the, the legs. I'll show you. There's going to be a simple way to do that. We have eight pieces here, like this. And I'm going to take these, and I'm going to roll these out right here. Just like this. Just like that. We'll make it nice and easy. I'm going to take and roll out See how we're doing that? You just think of almost like an extended ice cream cone. We're going to do that. We're going to do about eight of those. I'm now finishing up the last leg. And this is number eight. And I'll show you how to make the, we're going to make little indentations. You know, I'll use the toothpick for this one this time. We're going to, so see, we make the indentations like here. And here. And we're going to do that on all eight of the legs. So you make it right about here. And then we'll do it right about here. Just like that. See how I made the little indentations? There's one there, then there's one there. I'll try to make it a little more pronounced so you can see it a little better. And we're going to do that on all eight legs. And now I'm working on the eighth and last leg. See with the, taking the toothpick and making that little indentation. See how we're doing that? So now that all legs eight legs have been completed, we can now add them to the body. So what I want to do is those holes that we made, I want to stick the clay into the, that, those holes there. See, I'm pushing that in like that. And then we'll take and we'll put another one in here. I'm going to flip it over and just kind of work that in there. I'm going to take the, see how I'm putting these in? 
kind of work them into that hole. <clears throat> Just pushing them in. See how I'm pushing those in? Make sure they're nice and tight. That way they don't fall off. Push them in. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to flip this around so you can see it. See that? That hole there? Might not fit into the hole perfectly, but you want to push it up against that. I, the hole helps me to figure out where to line up each one of the legs. So just push that in like that. I'm going to push that one in there. See how we did that? And then the eighth and final leg we'll push in there. So now, when I put this down, we can kind of spread those out a little bit. See how? I'm going to show you what I did. I See, you kind of go like that, 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 and that. You can kind of spread them out a little bit. So now we want to work on the claws. And the claws are right here. See this right here? And I'll show you how we're going to make those. We'll move the lobster over here. I'm going to try to roll this on my hand a little bit. I'm going to try to pull this piece out here because that's where I'm going to attach it to the lobster body that little arm there. Then what I want to do is make the claw-like shape. So I'll show you. We'll make the claw-like shape. So I'm flat. See, I'm flattening it this way. That's kind of flattening the claw. And then I'm working this right here because I'm trying to create a point for the claw, just like that. I'm doing that, just like that. So see that basic shape that we want? We have the shape of the claw. So I'm just working that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make up another one, and just like this, in the same shape. I'm going to take this here and do the exact same thing. So we're going to work this a little bit on the end here. Get that ready. And I'm going to work and make this claw. See how I'm doing that? Like I said, you flatten this out. You're trying to flatten out the claw. Just like that. And then you, you start to make it to the shape of the claw. And then what I'm going to do is extend this little arm out, because this is what I'm going to attach to the lobster. Just like that. I want to see if they're approximately the same size, which they are. But what I want to do now is we want to actually create the claw-like part. So what I want to do is now that we've done that, I'm going to take and split this right down the center like this. Just like that. See how I split that? So now we have the claw. And I'm going to do the same to the other one. So we see this? I'm going to take and split it right down the middle here. So I'm going to take this piece here. It's a metal instrument, so it's, it, the toothpick would probably break if you did it with this, the uh, toothpick. So that's what I'm doing with this. want to make sure I'm getting it. So 
So now, okay, so now I'm working that, the claw, trying to make it a little flatter, like that, just like that. And another thing that I want to do too is they usually have like little teeth in there, but to make a simple version of the teeth, you see, I'm going to take this, I'm going to take and go like this. Make little indentations inside the claw like that. Just like that. See how I'm doing that? I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Just like that. And what I want to do is I want to do the same thing on this one. Now, you got some really nice looking claws here. So what I want to do now is I want to take and attach those to the body. I want to show you on the finished lobsters, I'm going to attach the claws here and here. So what I want to do right now is take this claw or I'll take this one first. And see, I'm going to attach it to the body right there. So I'm going to work that in and attach it right there. See, I'm pushing that clay in. And then I also want to take from this side and kind of work that clay in from here. Work that in so it's attached because I don't want that to fall off, especially when I'm baking it in the oven. Now we're going to proceed and do the claw on the other side. So what I'm going to do is take this, I just want to work this a little more. I'm going to pick up our lobster and I'm going to place that right about there. See that? And we're going to work that in to make sure that it's going to adhere to the clay because I don't want those to come off. See that? It's because his claws open. Okay, so now that we have that done, yeah, it's almost getting completed. There's a couple more things that we need to do. We need to do the eyes, and I want to do the antennas. So the first thing that we'll do is I'm going to get up some little pieces of clay over here, and I'm going to make up some eyes. I'll show you which size of clay that we'll use. I want to make sure I have the right size. I want to see, I'm going to compare it to what I had done previously. It looks like it's a little too big, so I want to make sure. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to roll these between my fingers between my finger and my thumb because I want to make sure I get the the uh, the eye just right. See the, I'll show you the size for the eyes. See that? I think it'll be that size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and place an eye. I'm going to pick this up. We're going to place the eye right here. See that? And I'm just going to push down on it. And then I'm going to take and put the eye on the other side. See that? How we put the eyes on? And kind of push like that. 
you want to make sure that they go on. Now the thing that we need to do now is I want to take and make the antennas. The antennas are right here. I'll pick this up and show you. See these antennas that go back like this? Those are the antennas. I'm going to take and make a couple of those. So we're going to take our clay here. I'm going to see if we can work the clay a little bit. I'll take another piece of clay off here. Work that. So you're just going to squeeze it together in the hands. And what I will do is I want to roll it out on the table. See this? Just like this. We're going to make it easy. Simple and easy. Just like that. What I might, this one here, what we might be able to do is I might be able to get the two antennas out of this one piece. I'll show you what I mean. Just want to make these nice and thin. See how I'm doing that? I'm going to try to make it a little thinner. We'll roll it out a little more, make it a little wider. Just like that. See how we did that? And just sort of make it a little bit longer. Because this one piece, definitely, we can make the antennas out of this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to compare it to my lobster here for the antenna. And I can cut it right about there. So I'm going to take this, cut it right there. And that's about, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it right about here. See that? Because that's about the right length now. This is extra clay. I don't need this anymore. So what I'm going to do is just kind of take and try to make this into more of a point like that. See that? And then I'm going to do the same to the other one. And then what I'm going to do, we're going to take our lobster here. And I'm going to take and attach it to the top right here. See that? I'm going to attach to the front. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And the reason why I'm putting on top, because sometimes the antennas, you know, they come out like that and they flop around, but it, it's, it's more, it's better if we do it this way. That way it's less fragile and less likely to break. So now, as you can see, we have finished our lobster. See how I did that? You put that in there like that. That's what it looks like from the side. Top, side again, then you got the underside. So it is now ready for baking, and we will bake this in the oven now, so it is ready for painting. And now that we've fired the lobster in the oven about 275 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes, it's now ready for painting. I will show you the types of paints that we will use. There's acrylic paints. There's about 18 in this package, which can be bought in any art store. And I've decided to use two different colors because I figured that they'll show the most detail. The, I want to use black and orange. 
the uh, so we got the black and the orange out there. We'll put this aside. And I want to show you the types of brushes that we'll use. This has a narrow point. See how it's nice and narrow, as you can see there. And then I'll use another brush that's a little wider to do the rest of the body. As you can see, that this is a little wider. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to paint the eye. I'll show you how to paint that. Dab that in there. Spin that a little bit. I want to pick it up. Now, you can see I want to do the eye right here. See that? We go all the way around the eye with a brush. Just like that. See how I'm doing that? And you do the other eye in the same manner. I'm just going to show you how to paint part of the lobster and I'll show you what the final completed product will look like. But you'll paint the eye that way, and then you'll do the same for the other side. And I'll show you, we're gonna, I, this is kind of a delicate creature because of the legs, so I, I gotta be careful when I put them down. We'll take the orange, and we'll paint, I'll show you how to paint that. The first thing that I wanna do is paint one of the claws. So as you can see here, I'm going to paint right inside here. See the inside there? See how we're doing that? And then I want to do is move it around. And we'll do the other side. See how I'm painting that? just like that. And then I'll show you we'll paint the top of the claw back and forth, back and forth, just like that. And then we're going to paint the legs. See that? See how I'm painting that? Back and forth, back and forth. You try to get both sides. Back and forth, back and forth. And we'll do just like that. Back and forth, back and forth. And now I want to show you, we also want to paint the side of the lobster. See that? And I get as close to the eye as I can. And you go back and forth like that. See how I'm doing that? And you're going to paint the entire lobster except the bottom with this orange paint in that manner. See the antennas here? I, I put them up top and I want to, when we sculpted it, so they wouldn't break off that easily. So that's why I would like to put them back on the lobster the way we did. So just go back and forth, back and forth. See how we're painting that? I'll show you what the final version of the lobster will look like. I'm just gonna put this down very gently so he doesn't break. And this is the final version of the lobster. You can see the black eyes. See that? Then you look on the other side. The orange claws, see how I painted them on the inside? I'll move it, rotate it back and forth so you can see how I painted them. Painted the top of the claws. See how the entire body was painted orange as well as the legs. And I'll rotate that for you. You don't need to paint the bottom. And that is what your lobster will look like. And I do want to thank you for coming to Creations in Clay. And I do look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye for now. Thank you.